around him too. Yeah. How's it going, Marlboro? Yeah. 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 I'm so happy to see you all now. Hi, gang. Yeah. So, how's it going? Did everyone get a meat pie, a beef pie today? No. No. Yeah, okay, sir. A forest of no's. <laughs> You should try them, they're real good. You should try that sauce that's real. Yeah, we had one of those just a minute ago. If we're slightly lethargic, or if we'll throw up, that's probably what. And there's a big beef pie sculpture out there. It says, a, yeah, right what's over up there. Is that? A 4 and 20, 4 and 20, that's what you call it, right? Yeah, I fully do not understand why there's a giant meat pie on legs out the back. I don't know either, but I think it's very important. <laughs> It's the tallest structure on the entire showgrounds. <laughs> so it's gotta mean something. I always thought it was kind of perhaps like a, 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 a deleted scene from War of the Worlds. Yeah. Where I, is it possible that you worship this part? <laughs> <laughs> no one has answered the question. <laughs> Do we worship the pie guys? Yes. Sir. Yes. Okay, so is our show on the air down here? Yeah, Comedy Channel. Where does it air? Com TV. Foxtel, TV. which is cable. Ah. Uh, um, Comedy Channel. Like 9.30, 10 o'clock? I love to watch. I, just, I love to watch our stuff whenever I can and just masturbate to it. <laughs> <laughs> it's just how... I do too! Yeah. Oh, oh, oh! 4 and 20. All right. <laughs> this is... That's basically all we had prepared, so... <laughs> Actually, we, we brought uh, we brought some new new stuff. Cutting edge. On. And if we uh, we find you videotaping it, we will come over and saw your hand yeah. off. Okay, this this is actually a serious point, isn't it? That this You'll this be in might the get you. In this is serious. Yeah, <laughs> this is sort of serious. This is sort of serious. If you are filming at this particular point, we're going to have to ask you to put the video away. All right. <laughs> All right. Any questions? Sorry, you just totally destroyed any questions. If you've got any questions, sweet, I will come running over to that somehow. No, this is bad. <laughs> you have to actually run that again. Where are you? There you go. There's you. Yeah, hi, my question is... Hold on, please. Stand up, please. <laughs> what is your name? <laughs> and what is your favorite 4 and 20 flavor? The beef or the chicken and veg? <laughs> Is there a bacon onion one? Because I've had that. There's a gluten and muffin mutton one. Wow. <laughs> Lamb shank. I like the, the the pig trotter flavor. You like the mutton or the no, you like the lamb and onion. Oh, I like having you know, I bacon pie. I respect your opinion. <laughs> you know, I think it's wrong, but I'm wrong. You know, cheers, you own that. Okay. My question is, uh, when you go about creating the show, um, obviously it's got its own comical uh, presence when you know you're sober but my question is do you sort of quite that do you create the show for maybe people who are under the influence because <laughs> of humor <laughs> <laughs> it's just it's, uh, it used to be on Cartoon Network Adult Swim and uh, that was quite late at night and I can remember coming home and it would be on and, and let me guess you were under the influence of something and you thought everybody must be like I am with my lamb and onion pie breath <laughs> <laughs> yes. uh, yeah. uh, do you think it's um, do you think it's more comical when you're under the influence or so that's my question I don't know are you under the influence now <laughs> did you find that funny <laughs> no. No, 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 no. The stakes are a point away. Uh, it's difficult to find things funny when you haven't had your daily steak and onion. <laughs> or easier. And you have any answers for that, Dave? No, not at all. all. Only that I would say that there's probably a larger percentage of the audience that are not under the influence, and we love that they that they also like our stuff too. So. <laughs> Maybe they're, they're either under the influence or weirdos. Right? Or some weirdos are under the influence. Well, we're, we're weirdos too, let it, let it be known. We're not, uh... Wait, film yourself now. Yeah, give, 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 give it to me. Alright, come on, give it to me. There we go. Something that's 
poorly written. Ooh, there we go. Anyways, I feel you can watch it and get feel like they're under the influence without actually being under it. So we're really making it easier and saving you money by just watching. Right. Okay, question for you. Um, name, please. I love your show. My favorite episode is Dumber Dolls. Wait, what's your name? Luke. Luke? Yes. Uh, favorite pie flavor? Uh, just the plain 4 and 20. Oh. And they're the best the if crust. you get them at the, uh, the MCG. Oh, yeah. Okay. While you're watching the footy. Yeah, yeah that's really good. Last oh, yeah, we went to the footy last night. Did you like it? Yeah. Right. yeah. I don't know what the hell was going on. <laughs> there were like people playing who were clearly players, and they were all just punching each other. <laughs> there were other people who kept running out to tell them and stuff. There were so many people on the field who were not actually playing the game. <laughs> there was guys in the green who just like run out and, like, keep punching harder! Come on, get him! Yeah. And then other people with water bottles. Who wants water? You got to do it. You want sweaty? Anybody with water? Yeah, we, I asked the guy, like, what's the clock? Like, what does that sig signify? It's like, oh, it's like a clock. It's like a, like a, what you have on your wrist. <laughs> <laughs> what time of day it is. <laughs> you get used to it eventually. Oh, right, yeah. And there's four scores. There's not just like, you know, it's like three to eight. This was like, 6, 17, 111. This side had three scores. Everybody got three different scores. Number of punches. One point there was a fight. Half the team was over here fighting. And the other half was still just playing the game. Like, yeah, they'll, they'll fix it up. Come on, let's go. Hey, why are they all fighting? Let's kick it through. Let's go. But it was awesome. Cool. Uh, my question is, when when you make uh, episodes like Dumber Dolls, you know, you had... No. You mean the classic? Where, where is an alcoholic? <laughs> and, oh yeah, definitely a classic. Oh, touching on serious issues um, now. Yeah. Okay. Was there anything the card in there where it wouldn't let you do? Like, it, have you ever pitched ideas like we want to do this and they've said, look, no? Yeah, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> they, they wouldn't let them save Jesus. And don't, especially if Jesus is going to impregnate one of your characters. <laughs> <laughs> Another no no, just for the record. They won't ever pitch that to them. Well, it's heavenly, you. It's heavenly, heavenly cock. Yeah. <laughs> the shaft of light. <laughs> That's the only thing. That's pretty much it. You couldn't say Jesus either. You had to say Jeebus. No Jesus rape. Yeah. <laughs> Jeebus. Which, like, I don't know why they think it's, you're still basically saying Jesus. Well, we call him G-Wiz. Right? Yeah, G-Wiz. Like, what's your favorite pie flavor? Me. You, yes. Oh. Um, steak and mushroom. Steak Whoa. and mushroom. Oh, oh, that's right. They never yeah. even heard of it. Heard of We got Where can we get that? They said they were beef. What gas beef station was. is that at? <laughs> 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 Generally, they're in a little back up in the hills. Oh, all right. Cool. Somebody write that down. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> um, my question is, when you were like going about creating Aquatine Hunger Falls at the very start, what was like your inspiration and stuff? Like, what um, made you come up with Money, a need for a job. <laughs> <laughs> Shivering in a, in a heat free apartment. Considering grad school. <laughs> <laughs> Not getting hired at McDonald's. <laughs> Too itchy. All those. Yeah. All, really, all those things came together to uh, help. Is, is that where the characters came from as well? The not getting a job at Mathis? Uh, yeah. To, well, we. We, uh, Matt Malero and I wrote for Space Ghost, Coast to Coast, and the characters uh, were an episode of Space Ghost that no one but Matt and I wanted to make because Space Ghost had one line, what are you doing here, and then the opera team just basically <laughs> swoop in and take over the show for 15 minutes, and uh, so then we thought, oh, yeah, that's a big cool show, we just watched them hang out in their living room in New Jersey, and then and pretty much no one uh, agreed with us. <laughs> Time to convince people that that would be a reason to uh, pay us to make television. But let me ask you, who's in Australia? Not them. That's right. Those naysayers. <laughs> They're sitting back in Atlanta going, why the hell did they go to Australia? Yeah. <laughs> How'd they get to go there? <laughs> yeah. Hello. You know what? Awesome. Um, I knew. Hello, you? Earthling. <laughs> um, why was um, Space Guitars not picked up? Why didn't that become a full series? You and that? me both. That's the what I would ask for you to do is to write a letter to Cartoon Network 
preferably in blood. Assure them that you are a key member of the mainstream society. <laughs> and talk about how much you love space guitars, because you are the only one. <laughs> Also make it in a half hour format where it was nothing but the plutonium. An hour! Yeah. An hour! Why not? We, yeah. You were preaching to the choir. <laughs> <laughs> we need to get together and discuss how we're going to make that happen. I'm all over, man. I'm all over. <laughs> Maybe we can sell them directly to you. <laughs> the thing is, we usually do this in volume. So yeah. you kind of have to. You're going to have to buy a lot. Yeah. yeah. But they'll make excellent gifts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Same thing, giving out to every Christmas to everybody. Yeah, I will. I will say I'm going to do this right now. Oh yeah, I was saving this for a trivia question, but the fact that you have a Moon and Night T-shirt in Australia. Oh, oh. Oh, this. Oh, thank you very much. A Moon yeah. and Night ski cap. <laughs> so people can say, man, you really uh, too, too late. You need to wear it. Late. Late. <laughs> I have a brand, brand new magical. No, I'm saving those. I'm going to give those out to people who buy Squidbillies discs at the Mad Men thing. Because this is the only piece of merchandise we have. It's a Granny. Yeah. Danny oh, Boston. I do the voice of Granny, yeah. And it says, I sure hope I get laid tonight. <laughs> I'll read it in the style. I sure hope I get laid tonight. <laughs> <laughs> Two of the most embarrassing shots of me ever. One where my chin is like this and looks like a buttocks. And then another one where my arm is like this and my armpit looks like a vagina. It's, it's really bothersome to me. But there it is forever. We're going to show a new episode. This hasn't even premiered in the States. It's actually coming out in a week. Spoiler alert. It's a, if you go back on the menu to episodes, yeah, go up, go up, and then, and then yeah. Right. I don't know if it was left down here because of the reverse. <laughs> <laughs> go go one over to direction. The there you go. Hit it. Wait, don't hit it now. Go down. You want to do shake like me? Yeah, that's. that's, that's I think that's that'll that's start a lot of conversation. Fly ball. Yeah. All right. Oh yeah, stand up. Yeah, don't don't wear the shades. That's right. They need a clinic anyway. What's going on? What the hell is going on? Oh, that's oh, that's no, the DVD music. Normally, when I'm talking, oh. talking through a microphone, I'm usually drunk anyway. So perfect. Uh, first, I'd like to say thanks for coming to Australia. I really like Aquatine Hunter Force. It's Let me say it was our profound pleasure to be here. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you. No one has any idea how excited we are to be here. Yeah. Oh, it shows. For real. It's really it just shows. It's so are you insane. responsible for bringing us here? Uh, just say just, yes. Just say yes. Let's just assume that I am. Let's just say yes. First of all, um... Oh, shit. <laughs> you are drunk. <laughs> you are drunk. And how? Uh, um, I think the first thing I wanted to, to um, say to Daniel was... I can't remember. Shit. You, right, the first one was you like Aqua Teen Hunter for us. I like it. <laughs> Thanks for coming to Australia. Yep. Now you're on three. What's the third thing? Um. Oh, shit. Does someone else want to take over the microphone so I can wow. stop the person to grab up? Uh, well, I started my career in television in uh, 1995. I worked uh, at a grocery store. Uh, we met getting our real estate license at the city. Yeah. Uh, uh, we uh, thought night class yeah. at the community college. Right. Does that answer your... <laughs> that really doesn't answer any question. <laughs> Here, let me give you this uh, sticker so that you can hopefully remember your... Yeah. I'm remember sorry, I'm sorry. I, I can only pack flat things from, from, uh, from Atlanta because I need room for underwear. So, uh, stickers pretty much. And horse tranquilizers. <laughs> I'll, uh, if it makes it to you. Ooh. Oh! Made it far past. Sorry, I didn't mean for it. That'll be a pass back up. That was the other thing with the footy game, by the way. Every time they kicked that ball out, 
Nowhere in America, any game, would they give the ball back then to the umps or the referees or the players. They would go on, would, they would never see it. It would end up being destroyed by, yeah, by, by three people fighting over who's going to keep the ball. And sell it on eBay. They'd have to have like 350 balls for every footy match. People are very cordial. Yeah, they were yeah. describing the, uh, the referee at the end when he does the... Yeah. He says, well, then, to uh, adjudicate whether the ball... And I was like, oh, God, three-fourths of fans in Philly would not know what the word adjudicate was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> there would be like, beef is fucking on! That's what it means! <laughs> Need you suck! In your face! <laughs> but then they sing the G-Long song after they won, and they were like, G-Long, G-Long, we're the best team ever. <laughs> Sorry. Don't you know that they're not? Wait, every song has that in the lyrics. Every team. Hello! Uh, hey guys, um, first of all, Dave Lewis, I'm a huge fan of Aqua Team Hunt for Spencer Brothers. Oh, Billy's. yeah, Adventure Brothers is amazing. Uh, yeah, one of the most amazing things that I uh, actually have nothing to do with, but, uh, <laughs> but thank you. And you. Dana Snyder, huge fan, you're my idol, I listen to, I li I listen to your podcast with Ken Beattie. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> you're the one. I knew, wait, there's one other guy. Right you're our whole listenership. <laughs> yeah, I was just wondering, you probably get this question all the time. Yes, there's um, a mommy and a daddy. <laughs> and when they really love each other, listen very closely, it feels like a sneeze. A wonderful sneeze. <laughs> No one's hurting anyone. They're having a beautiful time with each other. They're learning more about themselves and the person they're with. Uh, next question. Yeah, I was just um, wondering, um, uh, with the script and all back between Hunger Force, it's just so random and completely senseless. I was just running, wondering, how do you write that? Or do you just um, re rely on you know, just we don't, run, we, don't, we don't write so much of a script as we write like sort of the time that we're supposed to show up at the studio <laughs> on a piece of paper, and then we record it in real time based on our feelings of the day's events. Uh, no, I, I, you know, Matt, Matt and I write them, and we we we've written together for ten years, and we started back on Space Ghost, and the first Aqua Team we wrote forty drafts of it, and uh, this most recent one we wrote one draft. And uh, that's been pretty much true for about two years now. We write one draft and then... That's because uh, you've gotten perfect, is what you're saying. Yes, yes. <laughs> we've achieved uh, just a, a crystalline level yeah. of, of... The machine perfection. at first was a lot of fine-tuning and fixing, and now it's, it's, it's purring like a tiger. Right. And, uh, yeah, I mean, we make up stuff on the fly. We rewrite on, in the studio. We, you know, we, we make changes. Sometimes we'll tell Dana to pull us out of a ditch with his mighty... Mighty vocal cords, and uh, uh, but uh, but yeah, yeah, that's how we write. Yeah. Is that we do it with uh, computers? <laughs> we, they have a program that just writes the script. There you go. Put this on a bridge somewhere. See if someone thinks it's a bomb. Yeah. Oh, that was my question. The meat pie. Put it on there. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God, the pie's about to yeah. explode. <laughs> Al Qaeda found us here. Yeah. <laughs> no one is safe. Well, I'm sorry, gentlemen, but we're going to have to leave it at that right now because we've got another one coming up. Oh, yeah. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, put your hands together for Wait, wait, wait. I have to say, we're going to go and sign crap, whatever, <laughs> over at the Madman booth now. And also, we'll be back again tomorrow in this room at 1 o'clock to show more, show more stupid stuff. disturbing and horrible things. <laughs> so that's all I was going to say. Now, put your hands together.